Hi, welcome to Legal Scholar Academy, your YouTube channel where you get all information and knowledge about the law. At Legal Scholar Academy, we conduct various courses like Master in Drafting of Agreement, Skillful Drafting of Pleading, Master in Revenue Law, and many other courses. In addition to that, on every Friday, we also conduct free live webinar on various topics of law which is at 7.30 p.m. every Friday. If you want to attend those free webinar, kindly connect with us on the given number. We will enroll you also for that. So now let's start today's topic. Today's topic is revocation of the project. Reason for that is many projects have been revoked by Maharera authority. So I thought better to make a video on that topic because I received many calls my name is Girish Rao. I am advocate and solicitor. I am having more than 27 years of experience and I was involved from the day one from for registration of project under RERA. So I have all experience and knowledge about the RERA. That is why I am speaking on that topic today. Before I start the topic, it's my request to everyone to kindly subscribe to the channel so that whenever new videos are loaded, you will get a notification of it and by that you will be updated with all that is happening under the law. So again request to kindly press that bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Now let's begin. What is revocation of the project? Revocation of the project means basically it's a cancellation of the registration of the project. You are aware that as per RERA, that is Real Estate Regulatory Development Act, all projects are mandatorily required to be registered. Without registration of the project, the promoter cannot sell any of the units like plot, flat, shops or anything, nor he can do any advertisement related to the project. So it's a mandatory that all project has to be registered with real estate authority. There are few exception to that if project is under 500 square meter or it has less than 8 units or anything. But otherwise all projects are required to be registered. So it's a mandatory procedure which all real estate promoter have to follow. At the same time, if a project is registered, it can be also revoked. That is what happened now. That is the reason why I am talking to you. So now let's understand what is revocation of the project. That is a cancellation of project. Why, how and who does it. So let's understand this. As the authority, that is real estate authority registered the project, he is also responsible or he is the one who can revoke the project. Now, when he can revoke the project, why he can revoke the project and how he revokes the project, let's understand that. The real estate authority can sue motor revoke the project or he can revoke the project on receiving a complaint from anyone or on the recommendation of the competent authority. Competent authority is basically the local authority. So there are three instances. That is one, Suomote, he himself can revoke the project. Second is that on receiving a complaint. And third is that on recommendation of competent authority. Now then, what is the reason for revocation of the project? The project can be revoked if promoter makes any default in doing anything which is required by or under the act, rules or regulation, then if promoter violates any of the terms and condition of the approval given by the competent authority or third, third rather not or, the promoter is involved in any kind of unfair practice or irregularities 
or promoter indulgence in fraudulent practice. We had one instance where registration of project was done by using false or the fake commencement certificate, which happened in Kalyan Dombili Municipal Corporation area. I think 27 or 16 projects were revoked. So there are many other instances when project can be revoked. Let's also understand what is unfair practice. Unfair practice is also given in section 7. So let's understand what is unfair practice. Unfair practice means practice which for purpose of promoting the sale or development of any real estate project adopts an unfair method or unfair or deceptive practice including any of the following. So there are given, there are list which if promoter does, it can amount to unfair practice, which is as under false representation that the service are of a particular standard or the grade. Represent that promoter has approval or affiliation which such affiliation promoter does not have. Given example is that if promoter makes a presentation that there is going to be a particular brand school, but in fact he doesn't have any approval or anything to do with that. Then makes false or misleading representation concerning the service. Again here same, some false presentation is with XYZ type of service will be provided but it is not provided or is not going to provide it. Then again promoter permits publication or any advertisement or prospectus whether in a newspaper or otherwise of service that are not intended to be offered. Given example is that a promoter in his advertisement shows there is a swimming pool in the project but he has no such intention to provide a swimming pool in the project, which is nothing but a misrepresentation which is made with an intention that a flat purchaser should acquire the project. Even under section 12 of the Real Estate Act, that is a RERA, if such misrepresentation is made, the promoter has right to withdraw from the project. So now let's see once project is sorry first let's see how the project is revoked revocation is project a very serious thing for both promoter flat purchaser even third party is the banker so before taking any decision for revocation of the project the authority real estate authority is going to issue a show cause notice to the promoter The process for revocation is that the real estate authority will issue a show cause notice and give 30 days time to the promoter why the project should not be revoked. After that, after hearing the promoter and if there are complainant after hearing the complaint also, Authority will take a decision whether project should be revoked or it should be allowed to continue. If it should be allowed to continue, then what are the terms and conditions it should be allowed to continue? Or it should be allowed to continue as it is. The whole intention of real estate authority is that to ensure that flat purchaser gets what is what he has been promised and project should be completed. So in all such kind of instances, real estate authority will try and make sure that project should be completed. So instead of revoking the project, the real estate authority will put certain terms and condition on which project should be continued or completed by, re by the promoter. So now let's take for our discussion 
taking our discussion forward that real estate authority has decided to revoke the project. So once project is revoked, what happens is that everything comes to the standstill. The consequences of revocation of the project is that promoter is barred for accessing the website of the project. So he cannot make any update on the project. His name along with the photograph will be circulated to other states and union territory also, real estate authorities. Then biggest thing which the authority has to ensure is that facilitate remaining development work as per section 8 of the RERA. Fourthly is that his bank account will be freezed and also direction will be passed which is necessary for completing the project in the interest of the LRT. So what happens is that consequences of the revocation is that no further sale can be done by the promoter. He is basically not in control or in charge of the project. Then now in the next step which will be going to come is that how the project should be completed. As I told you, revocation is project means cancellation of registration. It can happen under section 7 because of the reason which I explained to you. It can also happen because lapse of time means time for which registration was permitted has got over. So these are the circumstances in which registration of the project comes to an end. So but then what happens? Project has been revoked but has to be completed. The authority will then will have to take a step to complete the project. For that purpose authority will give first preference that is first right of refusal to the association of the LRT. If they are not ready or willing to do it then other modes can be explored or will be explored like another real estate developer or even bankers. See when project is revoked there are three parties which is getting affected. One is promoter, another is flat purchaser and third is even banker. Bankers are affected by two means. One is that possibilities are there is a real project loan on the said project. Another is there is that flat purchaser who might have taken housing loans for the project for their respective flats. So banks are affected by the two means. So even that will be considered while taking a step for completing the real estate project. All required direction will be given to ensure that project is completed. And further, order will not be given effect till the expiry of the period of the appeal Again, the decision of the real estate authority to revoke the project. This brings us to the end of this topic on revocation of the project. I hope this gave you the information and the knowledge which you wanted. Still, if you have any query, you can comment below or you can also connect with us on WhatsApp and the email ID which is given here. We will try and reply you within 48 hours. Once again, this is Girish Rao from the Legal Scholar Academy signing off from here now. Bye-bye.